Hello everyone and welcome back to PropWay. So I know I haven't posted a video in a few weeks now and that is because I have been working on a very cool project which you guys already know is the Spider-Man moving lens. It's not in focus. So I have spent probably the last three weeks or so designing this and prototyping it and I finally came up with a version that I think is good enough to share with you guys as a tutorial. This version is definitely still a prototype. I will 100% be revisiting this project and trying to make the eyes a little more sleeker and you know, open and close a little more. But these lenses do not involve any 3D printing or any electronics. And basically I am just controlling that lens with this clamp here. And you can see they squeeze it, it opens. So let's try this thing on and move the lenses. And as you can see, I can control each lens individually or I can do both at the same time. Before I get on with the tutorial, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna be posting so much more content, so many more tutorials, and I think you guys will really enjoy what's coming soon. So now, let's get on with the tutorial. So I first start out with a thick piece of scrap cardboard. And as you can see here, I have a frame traced out and what I'm gonna do is just sketch around it. And this part doesn't need to be exact because we are gonna be trimming it off later. So now I am just cutting out that piece using an X-Acto knife. So now you should have something that looks like this. And again, you're gonna have a hole in the middle for the actual hole that you can see out of. And now I am just gonna be bending it and forming it to add a little curvature to it. And you should have something that looks like this. So for the actual lens, I am using this perforated plastic and it's extremely flexible. And when you hold it close to your eye, you can see right through it. So I'm just gonna cut out this piece. And these pieces are gonna be provided on a template in a link in the description. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to glue this straight to that cardboard. So what I do is I take some of these mini clamps and I'm just going to add some super glue. And the super glue that I use is crazy glue because it dries quickly and it's really strong. So you just want to add some glue to that all around. And now just to secure it, I use this white school glue and white school glue works very well with cardboard. So I'm just adding this as kind of a final layer. So now I'm just going to take some scissors and trim off that extra cardboard around the edges. So you should be left with a piece that looks just like this. And this piece should fit nicely inside of that lens frame. So now to get to the shutters, I have these pieces that I've drawn out and traced and I'm going to be cutting it out with the X-Acto knife. And this is just on regular poster board. And you can use any color, but I used black just so it, there can be less painting. So I just have to cut out all three pieces. And this is going to be three pieces per lens. And these pieces are going to lay out onto the lens just like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these push pins and each of the shutters should have a hole towards the edge of it and you wanna push these pins right through that hole and that's gonna kinda of act as a hinge point. And it is important to use the push pins that have a flat top. And I will put a link in the description to an Amazon product link. After you put in the push pins, you can just take a black Sharpie and color the edges of the shutters just to make sure you don't see any white. And on the lens, there will be three points that you'll be pushing these pins into. You can see here, I have it colored in red. So I push one of the pins into it. Then you wanna take the next one, push that through the shutter, and then push it through that spot on the lens. And as you can see, I have cut out a little notch here. And the purpose of that is so that 
that shutter can kind of overlap with the pin without any interference. And now you're going to take your last pin and push it through. And you want to make sure that shutter kind of hits that pin and basically that acts as a mechanical stop so that it can't go any further than that. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting out a section of the cardboard and you will see what this is for in a little bit but you just want to cut out a little section of the cardboard as well as the white plastic lens piece. So after you cut that piece out you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so at this point, you should have a lens that has three separate shutters that move individually, just like that. And honestly, the trickiest part of designing this thing was figuring out how to get all three shutters to move with just one motion, if that makes sense. So basically, I wanted to just move this top one, and I wanted the other two to move with it. And I think I figured out the best way to do that, which is just attaching a fishing line to all three shutters in a certain way that would allow it to move all at the same time. So I'll show you guys how to add that fishing line and exactly what parts to glue it on and you will see how it all comes together in the end. So here I'm just taking this standard fishing line and basically you're gonna want to glue it to each of these shutter pieces. So what I do here is I'm just taking one end of it and I'm gluing it to the very edge of this top shutter just like this. And I use crazy glue for this because it dries very quickly as you can see, this is what it should look like. And now you want to take the top edge of that fishing line and wrap it around that upper hinge. And you want to pull it all the way up until it stops. And then basically you're going to wrap it around the other hinge point on the left side, just like this. And what we're going to do is we are going to now add some super glue to that fishing line and glue it to that next shutter just like this. And when you glue these pieces together you want to make sure that all the shutters are wide open. If you glue it when some of the shutters are you know half closed it will not work well. And as you can see because they're connected moving one of the shutters it will move the other one. So now you want to wrap that around that hinge on the left side and then we're going to glue it to that bottom shutter. And as you can see here, moving this top shutter will now move the other two. And that's basically the entire principle of how you get all three shutters to move. And now we take that leftover string, wrap it around that bottom hinge, and then we are gonna glue it to that bottom shutter, just like this. So when you're done, you're going to have some excess fishing line and you can just trim that off with some scissors. And now you should have a lens that looks like this, where if you move one of the shutters, all three of them should move. And as you can see here, these push pins are not pushed all the way down. There is a little bit of a gap, which allows the shutters to move around. And now here I'm just gluing those in place through the back side with some of the crazy glue. And now here I'm going to add a little tab through that little slot we cut out and that was what's going to control that top shutter. So all I used is a small strip of paper and I rolled it up into a rod. And I take some super glue just to hold that shut and to kind of harden it. And now I'm going to take a set of pliers just to grip that piece. And I take a drill and I drill a very small hole through it. And basically the diameter of that hole should be about one millimeter, one to two millimeters. And you'll see what that's for in a second. So now I just take some of the crazy glue and I glue one edge of that rod and basically you want to just glue that rod to the very top edge of that shutter just like this.
and you want to make sure the hole is facing up and down and now you can take some more super glue and just secure the edges and you want to be careful not to glue anything else but that rod to the poster board because as you can see here we're going to be moving that piece up and down and that is what moves the shutters And now to make the actual helmet, you can watch a previous tutorial that I made on how to put together a Spider-Man foam helmet using a free template that I included in the description. And basically the previous helmet had LED lights in it and now I'm just ripping that apart and taking it out. So what I'm doing is I'm tracing out this lens that we assembled onto the foam and I just take an X-Acto knife and I cut a piece out of that foam. And now you should have a hole like this that would allow you to put in that lens and the lens should fit in nicely just like this. And right now this lens is not glued in, it's just press fit in which is important. You just want to have a nice tight edges around it without any gaps. So as you can see here I'm just going to be hot gluing that lens into place. And after you glue that in you should have something that looks like this. And that is one side that is already assembled, and this is the exposed side. And now I just glue that frame right around the edges of the lens. Okay, so now I'm sure you're all wondering how exactly we are going to move those shutters. And for this step, I want to thank my good friend Sean over at Sean's Crafts, who had the awesome idea of using bicycle brake cables to actuate the eyes. And as he explained on his channel, these brake cables are super useful because inside of this tube is very low friction, which means you can just push and pull on one side and there's really very little resistance on the other end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach one end to that little white tab on the shutter, which means on the other end, when you push and pull, you should be pushing and pulling on the white tab, which means the shutters will move. So let's glue that into place and try it out. As you can see, this is what it should look like when it's assembled. I just have the wire sticking through that white tab, which I super glued in there. And the rest of the cable just kind of runs along the helmet and I just duct taped it in. And here's just a little test run to make sure that the lens actually works. So now I'm just gonna hot glue the cable into place and make sure it doesn't move. Okay, so now I have one eye assembled with the cable and everything. So we're gonna do a quick test, make sure it all works. So you can see there's a cable sticking out of here. Put this on. So there it is, and if I take this cable and push it in, it should move the eye. And there it is. And I know People are going to probably say if they can squint more. For this version, that's probably the most it's going to squint. But after designing this, I'm super excited to go design version 2 and I think version 2 will be a lot better. So now to finish off this eye, I'm going to attach this side to a clamp. One second. To one of these clamps so that I can kind of actuate it just by pushing and opening like that. So let's put that together. So for this clamp, I am going to put that top end connected to the top part of the clamp and this part of the cable to the bottom side of the clamp. So basically, I'm just going to drill a hole through both pieces. And this will allow me to thread that cable through it. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like this, where one end of the clamp holds the wire and the other end of the clamp holds the outer cable. And here you can see how it works. And basically, we're just going to apply that exact process to the other lens, and when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Thank you guys so much for watching that tutorial. I hope you guys learned something, and as always, I hope you guys try this out for yourself. So as I said, this is definitely still a prototype, and you can see that there are some flaws right off the bat. I would definitely like the shutters to move a little more, but I have a bunch of ideas on how to do that for the next prototype. There are tons of ways you guys can make your own moving lenses. 
whether it be with electronics, you know, 3D printing, or just some paper and some fishing line. If you guys do make your own and you post photos of it on Instagram or, you know, TikTok, feel free to tag me at Propway, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.